Hannah and subjective enemy, sexual gratification, and trivializing my hatred. A Jewish girl is penetrated by her Nazi professor. The beginning of a sick joke involving Hannah Arendt and Martin Heiger. The objective enemy was around for a long time before Arendt formalized it. Good for her. Unfortunately, she applied it to a scenario with a political history and ideological reflex that refutes her application. No big deal. We can debate the shared genocidal goal of Judeo-Islam and Judeo-Christianity long into the night. A Jewish girl carpulates and fellates a Catholic man in favor of genocide. She then takes her self-loathing and transforms it into a model rationalization that trivializes the hatred of the other. How dare she dismiss my hatred just because she is having sex with her ideological enemy. It would be like having a black slave write propaganda for the Ku Klux Klan in America. Or, pick any other victim perpetrator rubric around the world for your special treat. There is a lot of literature explaining the psychology of such interactions, which is not my point here. I am just tired of stupid Jews supporting their murderers in any form. Let us round up a group of tattooed concentration camp survivors who can tell us that the Christians do not hate the Jews and that it was only the Germans who perpetrated the European genocide of the Jews. We can have them goose step and salute a some dubstep or drum and bass. How about those Jews meeting in the Middle East with the Muslims who deny the Holocaust? This tape will self-destruct in 69 microns.